Hello everyone, welcome to the Ichimoku Charts.com daily analysis for gold for Monday, January 7, 2013. Well, the continuation of the trend to the downside today, the previous day's trading we had a candle that made a lower high and a lower low. Today we have an inside day in bar chart terms, a day with a lower high but a higher low. Uh, that uh, inside day does raise doubt about continuation of the trend to the downside and that's basically because the sellers weren't strong enough to continue the market trading down below the low so that tells us that the sellers have lost some downside momentum that they had previously uh, um, we do need confirmation of a change of trend and it is only a minor uh, indication uh, the basic thing is though that the trend is still down and we do need to remember that but when we look at this candle from the previous day's trading very very large shadow on the bottom very very strong price rejection down below the support at 1643 which by the way has held as solid support today rejected from that area today were the sellers the buyers coming in once again but also down at the 1625 level we saw the market trade down to there for the previous day's trading and the buyers come in solidly. Uh, 1643 will be a very important level moving forward for this market tomorrow if we are going to see the trend uh, continue down or change to the upside. Uh, just above here we also have very strong support up a uh, resistance around the 1667 level uh, but for today's trading a day where the sellers did close with control of this market and a fairly large body on this candle compared to the previous day's trading. So some momentum gained by the sellers today but uh, the strong price rejection from 1643 does raise doubt about continuation of the trend. In terms of the Fibonacci extension we're examining the relationship of the current first time frame downtrend to the previous time the market trending down and here we've seen today the market trade through the 50% level prior to that for the previous day's trading we saw the market trade down through the 61.8% and test exactly to the 78.6 and be rejected from there. So that does potentially set this market up for a change of trend even though we haven't seen the buyers take control of this market. And looking at the Fibonacci retracement, uh, for the previous day's trading we saw the market trade through the 100% and be rejected from there, also rejected from the 61.8%, but today the market has tested through the 61.8% level. So there is a possibility that if this trend does continue down, we could once again test the 100% down around 1636. Now in terms of Ichimoku, a bearish market in all three time frames. Here we have the market trading down below the clouds, so we have a bearish market in the long term time frame. We had the bearish breakout uh, some time ago in early December and the market uh, went on with the move. We had strong follow through with the market rallying, finding resistance at the cloud as uh, uh, we all know, we Ichimoku practitioners know that the Ichimoku indicators hold as very strong areas of support and resistance. And then we had the market making a series of lower peaks and lower troughs confirming the second time frame downtrend uh, following the breakout down below the cloud. We also saw uh, the Tenkinsen holding as uh, resistance to this market as it attempted to rally. But over the previous week we saw the market rally through the Tenkinsen, find the buyers found some upside momentum only to see that the Kitchen Sen here, the pink line, hold as resistance for this market and the market to sell off once again. So moving forward uh, here today we've seen the Tenkinsen hold as resistance and price action be rejected from there. So strong resistance overhead for this market extending up to 1667 but certainly strong support down around the 1643 level very strong resistance just above the 1667 level at the Kijun Sen which is trading at 1679 and above but a bearish market in all three time frames with the market trading down below the cloud below the Kijun Sen and the Tenkin Sen and it does suggest that this market may test to lower levels but um, with this strong support down below and this very strong rejection that we've seen really um, it's uh, in very indecisive this market at the moment being bound by strong resistance and strong support. If we look over at the uh, chicka span here that's below the corresponding price action so that is confirming this bearishness that we're seeing in this market at the moment uh, so uh, a stronger likelihood of the market testing lower but really 1643 is crucial as is the area around the Tenkinsen at 1660 and the resistance at 1667.